Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, or night, whatever time you're, you're watching this. It's the 2nd of November. A very, very quick update on just sort of things that are going on here at the boathouse. The main thing going on here is we've got a very, very serious boat listing situation extremely serious because there's no water in the Sheffield Canal again and now it should be up to the level of the bottom of the screen here and I'll show you how much water is lost so we're looking at about I think we're about two foot down as a consequence all of our boats are sat on the bottom and because a canal is kind of u-shaped we are listing badly and the worry is that these ropes if these ropes give way the boats could then sorry if that's going to sound um, a bit windy blowy but we're going to have a problem if any of these ropes go so uh, one of my tasks in a little while is going to be to add some extra ropage fortunately I have plenty of rope <laughs> but it's quite dire and the um, the real dire part of this is that the Canal and River Trust who are responsible for this and have been responsible for it being empty for most of the year they did fill it up last week it was almost at the at the level it should be so the pumps obviously broken again but the thing is it means that there is absolutely nothing we can do boat-wise. Um, it is just a, a huge concern uh, that do the Canal and River Trust even know it's got this low? They certainly haven't sent a, a warning notice out. Right, so that's that part. The other part is we're living in a scrapyard because all of those vehicles down there are wreckers they're not tax and they shouldn't be on the road wonderful eh but uh, that's that's not that's not really what you want to know is it what you want to know is how's the next brew coming on well i was going to do i was going to do the brew yesterday just bringing this up to up to temperature for cleaning and i'm doing it with that bernie sanders uh, yeast that everyone's kind of like talking about um, and the one that I've had the starter going for Chris has had the starter guys a guy called Andrew who's just bought a half kilo block of it actually I need to dig his channel out because I think it's the guy who when he was brewing with cashmere yeast so he didn't fall foul of the YouTube copyright actually hummed cashmere Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. So I think it's Andrew Lynch. I might be wrong. I'll check. I'll double check that before. But he's, he's also bought half a kilo of this Sanders yeast. So I was going to brew yesterday. Other things cropped up that I had to deal with. Today I can't. I've got a couple of Zoom meetings. So I think the best time to do that brew is going to be tomorrow. And that coincides with the American election for the next POTUS, the next, uh, sorry, the next president of the United States. And it's quite fitting that I'm going to use the Bernie Sanders yeast because um, he was the, uh, the the senator for Vermont, uh, where um, you know, the, the New England IPAs originated at the Alchemist. Um, and it's the sort of yeast, it is the yeast that they think was the original <coughs> yeast, which is a, apparently a British yeast, taken over, used in one of the bars, brew pubs over there. Then the alchemist found it and then started doing Heady Topper, which I've actually done a clone of over there. And it's turned out bloody close. So tomorrow is when I'm going to be doing the brew, and I'm going to call it the greatest president that was never elected, which is pretty much Bernie Sanders. Uh, it would have been great unfortunately you know we've got 
two pensioners up in the running, but the the potential vice president for the Democrats, I think, could end up being the next real president of the United States. Hopefully, anyway. So I'll do a I'll do a brew for her at some point. So this is tomorrow. Uh, not a lot, really, else to say today, apart from I'm about to go and publish part two of our road trip to Retford, filmed with the quite remarkable, outstanding and inspirational Christopher Harrison Hawks, uh, Harry Brew 69 underneath. So this will be tomorrow. I'm going to clear everything out of the way. I've got some of these cask lifters which we found someone selling on Facebook. I'm going to move these out into the van to give me a little bit more space. Have a little bit of a clear out. Bringing this up to temperature. So from the hot liquor tank, goes through the pump, through the next pump, through the plate chiller. Everything's been cleaned out, so this is purely another flush. Then down through that pump there, into here. And then the hot water that's in there will give a final kind of like good little I'll, I'll put some uh, I don't know so probably some cleaner I'm not sure what yet in there clean the mash tun out uh, oh, it's been cleaned but a final whiz around um, that gives everything a clean and a heat treatment ready for tomorrow then I'm going to flush the reverse osmosis down there out so the reverse osmosis will be cleaned uh, before then filling the HLT again. And uh, here's a little ornament that we picked up the other day. Um, as you know, because I do use a lot of star sand, but what I do is I make star sand with distilled water. And making it with distilled water, it lasts forever. Well, not forever, but you get a good few months out of it. So, rather than the little air still upstairs, we found this little beauty being sold on um, Facebook Marketplace, I think it was. This is a distiller. This is the um, condenser, which basically is a sort of like reverse Herms and a little parrot. And a parrot is what you use for continually monitoring if you were making alcohol, which obviously I'm not. And it's just as well because my alcohol on me da isn't big isn't is too big i need a little one because otherwise it, anyway but that's irrelevant because we won't be using it for making alcohol we're going to be using it as a display item making distilled water to keep the star 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 stand star sand in so that's everything for today oh the um stainless fermenter is going to get cleaned out but i don't know if i mentioned i did think mention this before i'm going to do this brew, the Saunders, the greatest American president that never was, in two of these um, Firmzilla all-rounders, pressurised fermenters. And what I'm going to do is, for the first dry hopping, I'm going to lift everything off the yeast cake, use a closed transfer into this one, which will have been purged to have the hops already in it. So the first dry hop will be completely off the tube into here. And then the second dry hop, I'll have cleaned this out. I'll have then add the second hops in here and purge it with CO2. So then move it back for the second dry hop just to see how that all works. Because all of this really is um, it's play, isn't it? It's, it's playing to learn. That's where we're at today. Hopefully by the end of today, the Canal and River Trust will have awoken to the fact that we haven't got any water and they might try and do something about it. Because my concern is... And if I hadn't have put some scaffold poles down the side of that landing stage, one of those boats could have slipped underneath the landing stage. Then when the water come back up, it would have sunk or broken the landing stage. But that's the life on a boatyard. Brewery boatyard, which I've called it, a boathouse brewery. It's not really, it's not really a brewery. It's, um, it's more of a science lab, as some of you will know. <laughs> right, that's it. The other thing is to say, it's the start of Men's Mental Health Month. And, um, and I know it's difficult for everybody at the moment. You don't have to suffer in silence. It's all right. You're not alone. And it's okay 
to not be okay. And that's a theme that I'm going to be coming back to pretty much every day this month. It's okay to not be okay. That's it, boys and girls. Now I'm going to publish somewhere else the second part of the road trip to Retford. <laughs>